So the internal nares is the narrow opening into the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is the space inside each nostril. Then it narrows to the internal nares at the back of the nasal cavity. And air moving through the nasal cavity would then enter the pharynx. So we have the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, the laryngopharynx. And this pit here on this half head model is the entrance to the auditory tube or eustachian tube, which goes to the middle ear. Then we have the larynx. This is the epiglottis, which we had for the last exam. This is the thyroid cartilage on the front. Below that is the cricoid cartilage in the front. And the entire blue area on the back is the, is the cricoid cartilage with the arytenoid cartilage above it. The glottis is the space inside the larynx. The vocal folds are the larger ridges on the bottom of the wall of the larynx. And the vestibular folds are the smaller ridges on the top inside the larynx. So if I move to this model, the thyroid cartilage goes across the front, but only in the front. The cricoid cartilage is below that in the front and then gets taller in the back. The arytenoid cartilages are the little claw-shaped pieces of cartilage that sit on top of the cricoid cartilage in the back. And here's the epiglottis, which would close over the larynx and this broken on this model. And if I look on the inside, the vocal folds are the larger ridges on the bottom inside the larynx, and the vestibular folds are the smaller folds on the top inside the larynx, and the space inside the larynx is the glottis. Then the larynx empties into the trachea, which is one single tube going down to split to go to the lungs. So where the trachea branches, these are the primary bronchi. One would be a primary bronchus going to either the left or the right lung. The primary bronchus is going to branch to the secondary or lobar bronchi. And then the secondary bronchi branch to the tertiary or segmental bronchi, which are the colored ones on this model. So this would be a primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus, main bronchus, lobar bronchus, segmental bronchus. And if I look at the lungs, um, this is the left superior lobe, left inferior lobe, separated by the left oblique fissure. This is the right superior lobe, the right middle lobe, separated by the right, horiz right horizontal fissure. And then the right middle lobe and the right inferior lobe are separated by the right oblique fissure, which is lower. If I open the model up, oops, I can again see the trachea, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, and then tertiary bronchus over here. They're just not color coded on this model. And the diaphragm is this muscle that sits here. And these lines are the fissures again. Horizontal oblique on the right only oblique on the left.